Now let's uh, wedge four city maps, so four different JPEG images uh, to feed into the system. So in this case, we're going to go start with a wedge count of one, just so we can figure this out. And we're going to add an extra wedge attribute. And the wedge attribute we're going to call file underscore wedge. And that will be a range, an integer from 0 to 4, or from 1 to 4 rather, uh, that we will use in this digital asset here. So if we go into more grids, you'll see we have four city grids here. And we're going to replace this with at file underscore wedge backslash. So those four integer values will get placed in there. And uh, let's fix that center wedge there. So we're going to go and take that dirty and cook. And right now it's only creating the one which is fine. Uh, we can go back to uh, the wedge node here and let's do the wedge count back to four. Now that we know that's working. And dirty and cook this node. So we've got one map, two maps, three maps, and four maps. So we've got different maps coming from different JPEG images, and they're going to feed into this system uh, and do basically everything. Now we're going to bypass the building that goes up 50. Um, we don't need an isolated building for this one. And we're going to cook the whole system to get the four city blocks using the different maps with different city cores and the buildings uh, at the right height accordingly. So there's one, two, three, and four. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can wedge when setting up a system in PDG.